And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Cleveland Guardians. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, first pitch coming up and getting the start. Number 28. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Going now for the Angels, number 18. The first baseman. The one one. And that one fouled off. And a ball in two strikes. And there's a ball. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, safely into second. He's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And now breaking ball and that got him. He had him one two and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Boog, do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. The one two and a ball oh. evens the count. Oh. Next pitch is outside. Great. Willie Calhoun waits on deck. The pitch and that'll oh. load the bases. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Willie Calhoun stands in here. Swing, and this one's crushed. No doubt about it. Grand slam. He rockets one to right, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 4 nothing. Logan Ohapi. Up the middle. Jimenez. Jump throw. Awesome play there. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. battling here as he fouls it away. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Here's a rocket out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Now batting A. Ray Adrianza. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Toss to Naylor, and that is the third out of the inning. Halos with a grand slam this inning. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Welcome back. Our starting pitcher in this one, Jose Soriano. Chris, how about a scouting report? 
he may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. You have a left fielder, Stephen Kwan. No left fielder. He has. At the belt and fires. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And it falls. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but he's also going, for the out. First offering, runner goes. Pitch in the dirt, throw to second, tag, and they got him. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. Next offering upstairs. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. One down, base is empty. Three ball. Swing Three and a miss. Three. That's strike two. Swing and a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Could be a tag, and he's picked off. Here's Jose Ramirez. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Now move to first, and he's back standing. Ramirez, the runner at first with two gone. Here's Josh Naylor. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The pitch. Got him swinging. Gassed it right by him. Guardians lead one. They're down 4 nothing. Here in Cleveland, new inning getting started. And now the center fielder, Mickey Moniak. And the next pitch is way outside. There's the swing and a miss. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. Booth Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. And next for L.A., number nine. And a one-two. And another ball. That one down the line. And that's a fair ball. Moniak around second, headed for third. The relay. And he's out. Here's the first baseman, number 18. One for one with a double and a run score. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two.
still in the second already at 44 pitches so some concern there drilled out towards left center field that's well struck that one carrying and it hits the top of the wall they extend their lead as the runner scores from second it's five nothing back-to-back -back base well, hits put a really nice balanced swing on so Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Nick Sandlin. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Freeman makes the play, two down. The left fielder, number three. So digging in, Taylor, Taylor Ward. Ward. the count two and one good eye right there runner at second two down and there's ball four. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it but he's showing some good patience in this one it's the second time he's taking ball four and a one one that one missed Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. That one fouled off. Two and two. Swings and crushes one right field, way back and gone. He made him pay for that one. His second home run of the game, and they add on. It's eight nothing. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. Yes. Next offering is in for a strike. That one hit to right. That gets down for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like. And now maybe extra bases. Bohapi, round second on his way to third. And that's a two-out double. Cut off, now a throw home. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Textbook defensive execution right there. Outfielder hits the cutoff man. Relay throw to the plate. A perfect strike and a great way to end the inning. Bottom of the inning, and now the right fielder, Will Brennan. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. The punch out there, and there's one down. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. And a pitch. Out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting seven. The catcher. Two outs, base is empty. Bo Naylor will hit next. Next offering is down low. And it's two and one.
foul ball. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The Guardians go down in order, and they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. Top half of the third inning. So in now for the Angels, A. Ray Adrianza. And the right-hander deals. Bounced out to short. Rokio slings it across. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The center field. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And next for L.A., number nine. Doubled his first time up. And a pitch. And it is two and one. Line of the pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Finding A.B. right here, about to see pitch number 10. Out towards left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that's the inning, and the Angels are gone in order. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. So in now for Cleveland, Gabriel Arias. Here's a 1 1. And a swing and a miss. And a 1 2. And that one is lifted in the air. Hauls it in for the out. Batting nine. Here's Brian Rocchio. Rocchio. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. On the ground to short. Two up, two down. Well, Boog, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's oh, hand. Cleveland. The way it comes out of no his field. hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Oh. And yeah, the right hander's 3 1. Hi. And a strike. Full count. Here comes a 3-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Guardians fail to score. 
still 8 nothing. Back here in Cleveland, and now the first baseman, number 18. You and I got a chance to broadcast the 2019 All-Star Game, and the city of Cleveland did such a great job. I felt like wherever you turned, there was some type of ad for the All-Star Game, a face of one of the players playing in the game. I thought the city overall supported the event really well. Into center, Freeman sizing this one up. He makes the grab. And there's one away. Yeah, and I think the players uh, backed it up the from the home run derby the and the show that was put on between you know, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonso, and others. It was off the charts. And then the game is always special. When you see the best in baseball, you remember how special this game is. And to be here at this ballpark, um, I think, just was the icing on the cake. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. The pitch. Going, going. There goes the runner. Pitch outside. Oh. Throw to second, and he's yeah. out. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Fouled off. He was late. And here's a 3 2. Bounce to the right. Naylor. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Of the fourth, now the number two hitter, Andres Jimenez. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that ball. get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because. There are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Out to short, gathers, and throws to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Now it's Jose Ramirez. He reached out a walk his first time. You know, say Jose Ramirez signed that big extension, a five-year, $124 million contract before the 2022 season. But right before that happened, the Guardians came this close to trading him. He's in there. Tough play up the middle, and everything needed to be right there. Feel that, get a strong throw off to first base, and I think the speed going up the line had something to do with it as well. And now... It's Josh Naylor. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And here it comes. And oh, now the count back. is even. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The next offering misses. Full count now. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Ramirez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Check on the runner. Ramirez in back in on a dive. Three and two now. 
Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Three, two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. That two misses balls, the zone. Two, two balls, two strikes. And that one a little bit high. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Three, two. This one high in the air to left center. Makes a nice run of catch. And that ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Willie Calhoun. Right-handed reliever. That misses off the outside edge. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score, and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Logan O'Hoppy digs in now. The 2-1. And that's down it away. Strike two. Three balls. Two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. He found a way to just get it by him. Jimenez sends it to first, and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Angels' eight, and the guard. Back now at Progressive Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Tyler Freeman. The 1-1. One, one. You know, these Guardians need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Not three even ball. close there. And now 3-1. and one. On the ground. On to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Bo Naylor at the plate now. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Here comes a pitch. Oh. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side.
The pitch. He goes down looking. The third baseman, number Two outs, three. base is empty. Digging Gabriel. in, Gabriel Arias. Oh, yeah. He's 0 for 1. And he deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And he'll play it on a bounce. He obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap, but I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there. And it's kind of hard to say if there was some hesitation or if they just decided to play it safe. That's in there, and that is strike two. Kicks and fires. And right back to the mound. Tosses to first. That ends the inning. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Pedro Avila. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Out to short, Rokio. Over to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. The 1-1. One -one. Action in the pen down there. Tyler Beatty up and throwing. The 1-2. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So two down now. And here is number nine. One for two. And a pitch. Oh. Two and one. That's inside. And now three and one. And that one fouled off. Two outs. And he walked him. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Three balls, two strikes to count. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. So it's no runs on no hit. Here in Cleveland, bottom of the six. Now at the plate, Stephen Kwan. No left fielder. Stephen Kwan. Right-hander kicks, deals. Line drive, base hit down the line. Here's Andres Jimenez. One-one now. Good eye right there. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And the count is even, two and two. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Try to get okay. him to chase on the changeup that time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger.
Kwan, the base runner at first with one out. And a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch Number after giving three. up the leadoff Number single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And the righty deals. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Nice line drive to the pole. New pitcher now, Amir Garrett. And they felt it was Your time to bring on a left-handed reliever from now the pin with the lefty the hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. Two. I know I never Amir. liked when opposing teams Amir. did that to me. And now Will Brennan. And a swing and a miss there. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. Luis Rangifo. 3-2 now. Struck him out without a swing. Throws him with the heater at the knees. So up next, Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. The pitch. That one's in there. Two and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. On the ground to third. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a throw and the defense comes away with nothing. Now that designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. This one in the air center field. Freeman under it. Calls it in two away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang catcher, a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. The one-two. That's down and in. And this is inside. Ward off of first with two away. Good job to fight that one off. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it is gone. He muscles that one out the opposite way. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 10 nothing. That's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time, and it's true enough to stay fair. I mean, that's a good feeling when you can hit an opposite field home run, and he did it right there. Next offering is downstairs. Fought off foul. Oh. 
Three, two now. Three balls, two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Two run shot for the Angels this inning. It's now 10 zip. Back after this on the show. Bottom of the seventh, stepping up for the Guardians, Tyler Freeman. That one misses. Three balls and a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Jose Suarez up and loosening in the pen. Simber getting cranked up as well. On the ground right side. Whips it to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting. Catcher. Whoa. Next to hit, Bo Naylor. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. They say you win. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's the third now baseman, batting. Gabriel third Arias. The 2 1. On the ground to third. Adrianza tosses to first. Yep. Three, three up, down. three down, inning over. This one pretty well decided at this point. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Angels 10. And the so a lefty out of the pen, Tim Heron. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And it's even up. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. High in the air, out to right. Brennan makes the catch, and there's one gone. And next for the, the Angels, Center Mickey Moniak. One Mickey for three. Moniak. And now the lefty. Two balls, one strike. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Freeman should have this one. And there's two down. Two outs, space is empty. And now the shortstop, number nine. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. Two and one. Fouls one off. Two and two. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Angels go quietly there, but they still hold a 10-0 lead. Bottom of the eighth. So in now for Cleveland, Ryan Rocchio. The shortstop. Swings through that one for strike two. And a pitch. This one in the air right field. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. The left fielder. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. That misses. And that's ball two.
Out to center. Ringifo on the move. Great effort on the leaping grab. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Here's a 1 1. Next offering misses down and away. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Jose Ramirez waiting for a turn at the plate. And a 3-1 on the way. Tap back to the mound. Slings to first, third out. Nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and here is number 18. Got him swinging. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have got it, but he didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. A switch hitter batting right. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. The line to kick the pitch. And now two and one. The two on is high. Three and one. Three Swing and, and a miss. Three and two now. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific ball bite ball. at the end. And that's ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and. Somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. That catches the outside corner. That is strike two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Angels strand one, but they're still in front. Ten to nothing. Back here in Cleveland. Now it's... The DH, Jose Ramirez. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Adam Simber. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Action in the Angels' bullpen, Jose Suarez. The left-handed reliever appears to be getting loose. Simber is ready. Foul ball still, a one and two count. the pitch and he hits a ground ball right side and that's just foul the one two liner snagged it first nothing you can do about those as a hitter Couple even though you know Couple that they still two. drive you absolutely crazy Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians 2-2 two, two now. And now okay. it's filled up. <laughs> On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. Oh. And the Guardians with one out left. Now batting. Right so they're down to their final out. And up next for Cleveland, right Will there. Brennan. That That's misses the, the zone. Two balls and a strike. And a foul ball. Up the middle. And that one handled. In there safely. 
Tough play and a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Now it's going to be Tyler Freeman. One, two now. To the right side, Rangifo. Throw to first, in time, and this one is over. And the Angels use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. 10, zip your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Angels, 10 runs on 11 hits, no errors, they left three men on base. For Cleveland, no runs, seven hits, no errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 10 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.